is Janet Stocks from Cornabies LLC and today I'm going to show you how to turn ordinary fruit into a fresh freezer jam in less than five minutes. I'm going to use food processor, measuring cup, bowl, and jam in a jiffy. First thing we're going to do is put our prepared fruit into the food processor. Now the wonderful thing about jam in a jiffy is that you can use any kind of fruit. You can use any kind of soft fruit, for example, this is strawberry mango, raspberry peach is wonderful. Um, there are several other different kinds that we've enjoyed doing. And when you use the food processor, you want to put to turn it on and off so that you can get this, this desired consistency. Me personally, I like to have chunks left in my fruit. So this is about consistency that I like. I'm going to turn this into my measuring cup so that I can make sure that I've got about four cups. The longer that your fruit stands in, a refri in the refrigerator at your grocery store, the more weight that it loses. It loses water weight. So sometimes you'll find that you don't quite have the four pounds you need. So you can add just a little bit more liquid to it to make up the difference. Okay, I've got my fruit. I'm going to pour this into my bowl. Now I'm going to add a half cup of either juice or water. Now comes the magic. Jam in a Jiffy has everything in it that you need to make the jam except for the fruit. It has the six cups and lids. Then it also has the powder. You can buy it that way with the cups, or you can also buy it with two packages of powder if you already have your containers and are, are used to making freezer jams. Okay, I'm going to just stir this up a little bit. Stir the water into it. I add the powder the same way that my 83-year-old father tells me to. You shake the top of the container, and he makes a hole in the bottom. And that lets the mixture pour out in just the right amount to where you can kind of stir it in as you add it. Now this mix has pectin, it has citric acid to control pH. It also has some other natural ingredients that help this to be a very stable product. This means that it has a high freeze-thaw stability so that when it comes out of the freezer, it holds very, very well. This finished product can be stored in the freezer for up to one year or in the refrigerator for up to one month, perhaps longer depending on, on your own conditions. And the reason it can do that is because of, we have xanthan gum, we have a food starch in it, and um, these help to maintain the stability as well as the citric acid. Now you can see how much this is brightening up that's the magic of the citric acid. Now, the citric acid also means that you don't have to use lemon juice or other products when you are using different kinds of fruit. For example, peaches brown very easily. Got this all mixed up. All I have to do now is set aside the dirty dishes and set out my cups. This mixture needs to stand for just one minute then it is ready to go into the freezer containers and ready to go. We're going to just take our mixture now. I'm just going to use a scoop. You can see it's much thicker now. I'm going to pour it into my containers. For me personally, I really like chunks, so that's why you'll see a lot of chunks. When you puree your fruit, you destroy a lot of the natural pectin that is present in the fruit. So I prefer to have it a little bit chunkier, but you can make it smooth if, if you choose to. This four cups of fruit and one package of jam in a jiffy will make a little over six cups of, of jam. We say it makes six cups of jam plus enough to fix for toast in the morning. This can go right into the freezer now and it is all ready to go whenever you want something homemade and delicious for your breakfast table. We have jam and a jiffy in five minutes or less. Thank you. Hi, 
I'm Janet Stocks and I would like to show you today how to make an instant strawberry glaze using Ultra Gel Modified Food Starch. This is very, very easy. We're going to use one package of strawberry Kool-Aid. There are other varieties of drink mixes available. I prefer Kool-Aid, but others can be used. To this, we are going to add two cups of water. If I'm going to make this into a pie or into a dessert immediately, then I just use cold water so that I don't have to cool anything down. If you want to pull the juice out of fruit, sometimes it's helpful to add warm water, even hot water, because when you add the fruit, it will kind of pull the juices out and give you a little bit more of a fresh fruit flavor. To this mixture, I'm going to add my ultra gel. Now you'll notice that I'm stirring this to thoroughly disperse the, the sugar and get it dissolved. Uh, one of the problems with other instant starches is that you add them to the sugar so the, sh the sugar is, is not in solution before the starch starts to gelatinize. Now for this amount, I'm going to do this as I would if I were making, say, a strawberry pie. So I'm going to add about one half cup of ultra gel. And notice I'm just adding it, stirring it in with a wire whisk. And it doesn't take very long to mix it in. I'm going to stir it until it gets slightly glossy. It will be completely gelatinized within about five minutes. Now this mixture is two cups of liquid, one cup sugar, plus one package of Kool-Aid, now you can see already it is starting to gelatinize, it is starting to get thicker. Within just a couple of minutes this will be the perfect consistency to add about four cups of sliced strawberries, pour it into a baked pie shell, and you are ready to go with a five minute strawberry pie. This is Janet Stocks from Corner Beast.